this is Mario with MIA Microflight once again and in this video you're looking at a set of dies these have been 3D printed to press the ends of 3 quarter inch conduit tubing so that we end up with something like that and so that this end fits uh, or mates with the maker pipe connectors, the T connectors in particular with the single bolt and, and nut that is provided with the connector so this is so that it sits a little bit further in and it provides a more uh, secured connection rather than just having the connector clamped on the pipe on the stock pipe via the, uh, the uh, single bolt and, and nut that is provided with these connectors so what I've done here is I designed this uh, um, I did a pseudo clamp or a pseudo die using uh, hex uh, shape uh, spacers threaded spacers and, and that's how I did this section here I did one side and then I flipped it over and I did the other side but in this uh, instance I'm going to be using this, these dies in fact I, I've already tried this so the way this works is the pipe fits in here the, the pipe first of all has to be slit at the top and at the bottom to provide a um, give point for when it's pressed it, it presses uh, uh, at, at that uh, at that line or it allows the material to compress otherwise it's very difficult to press this and, and it also deforms at the ends if you come too close as, as I did here I came a little bit too close but the purpose of the design is to make it a, a lot cleaner of a press so the way that works is these are two dies that uh, I did it in, in halves so one fits over the other one like that and it's got a it's got the same um, uh, die or or this is the part that presses it comes in through the bottom and the other one comes in through the top the pipe is uh, once it's slit like I mentioned is inserted into these uh, two pieces and it's clamped this is uh, it's supposed to have a quarter inch of uh, uh, bolts here and nuts and once that is clamped this whole assembly is placed under a, a vise which is uh, tightened uh, slightly to just to hold the the dies in place and then um, that assembly is placed under under a two-ton press just a bench press and with these uh, dies in place the idea is to come in and put pressure here and because it's sitting on top of a solid base there's pressure at the bottom and so both of these top and bottom dies compress uh, the tubing at the location that it's supposed to bend so I did a quick uh, test and this is the way this came out here you can see that little piece there I didn't have a, a full pipe I just had a little piece and so I decided to try it and that's how this came out okay so in this video this is my CAD model you can see the die that I just explained you know the two halves are sitting right here the conduit recorded conduit comes in it's already pre-drilled with that hole and the idea is to insert that in fit that upper and lower die which also is also perforated in line with this hole here on the pipe there's a pin that comes in and locks the old sub assemblies which is the pipe the the bottom uh, holder for the dies the upper and top portion of the die is also perforated so it locks it in place so when the press comes down and there and there's a little bit of space here to allow the uh, to allow the upper and lower dies to compress as the two-ton bench press comes down and, and presses on top uh, and there's pressure from the bottom just by by the support of the base of the uh, press so these things compress both at the same time and it creates that shape here like a bow tie shape which is what we want but more important is to retain the uh, the curvature on the sides because that will fit in the maker pipe connector as you see it here uh, this portion is is the maker pipe connector this black part right here and I just uh, modeled this using the dimensions that is available at the maker pipe uh, website so it's very um, I mean I went a little bit a little more detail there with some of the details like the, the indentation on the connector because I needed to um, I needed that to be precise in order to create this uh, this die and so that's what you're you're seeing here I 
and you can see the, the shape that I'm, I'm after here at this portion here and if I rotate this just a little bit you can probably see the the shape inside the uh, a little bit inside the pipe itself let me uh, put x-ray vision on this uh, drawing and we can see how that should look inside in this video I'm about to press the ends of these um, sections here of this uh, three-quarter inch conduit and this is once again so that it, it fits and it mates rather with the maker pipe connectors that have a uh, indentation and it's got a through hole and it attaches with a single nut and bolt so I'm about to press these sections here and this is the 3d printed die that I talked about earlier in the video uh, it already has the pin there so it, it'll uh, key in with this part and it'll lock it in place this has to go in this way I already have the bottom die already installed at the bottom it's ready to uh, uh, be inserted into this uh, vise and this top portion of the die will fit it through the top and it'll compress that once we put it under pressure using this uh, arbor press it's a two-ton arbor press as we can see the pipe is already uh, inserted in between these two uh, sections that make up the uh, base of the dies. Here's uh, the bottom die. It's going to go underneath here and then the top one with the pin will go through the top. So I'm about to do that. I'll do that and because I'm filming this with uh, by myself uh, using my hands here I'm going to have to stop the video and I'll come back when I set that up. The pipe is inside the die and under the press is supported by this vise here. And just, this is just to hold this in, in place there. It's not providing any any uh, uh, tension on the die itself just to hold it. So here we go. I'm going to uh, press it. I'm going to need both hands so I'm going to stop this video and I'll come back when this is done. Or maybe I can let's see if I can do it with one hand here. It's going to take a little more pressure. Oh here we go, here we go. It gave. So that means that it's under pressure here. Let me recenter my die here. A little bit better, so it's in the center of the um, of the block where it needs to be. Okay, so now it's been recentered, and I'm going to press a little more here. We should see the inside of that. I wish I had a light here. Okay, now the bottom is compressing. I think that's as far as I'm going to go here because this, uh, the top and the bottom sections of the die do have a stop there. If you can see in this video, that could go another 32nd of an inch there, but the center should be okay. So that's that's done. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, I removed the top portion of the die and we can see that it compressed the tubing at the end here via the uh, this uh, key pin here. So I need to press that pin out of the way so that I can remove the bottom section. That's what I'm about to do right now. Okay, so this is the pin pulled out and uh, we can see a little bit of the shape of the part from the dies. So I'm about to pull these parts apart and uh, pull out this section here. Okay, so here's the form part. And we can see how that uh, form. Let's see if I can pull this out of here. And there we have it. Nice. That's exactly what I was looking for. So that's how I'm doing these guys, you know, with the 3D printed uh, die here. There is a little bit of um, uh, deformation on the sides here because this is a very thin section because of this curvature here. It ends in a very sharp uh, edge. So there's going to be a little deformation there, and that's what that's from. Uh, the dies themselves, the things that are pressing, they have a slight. Uh, 
scraping on the uh, on the side here, but very minor. They still have the same shape. So they are doing the part, and mainly what this is from is from the uh, from the friction that it builds. You know, because this is PLA, and PLA is uh, uh, it tends to deform under heat. So this is probably happening from the friction that's happening from pressing. I mean, there's quite a bit of uh, force in order to press this that happens between the uh, the material, the tube, the pipe and the uh, PLA uh, die so anytime there's friction there these parts are going to heat up a little bit here you don't feel it once you take it out because by that time the parts have uh, cooled off but that's what this deformation is from mainly um, I'm pretty sure I can get uh, uh, you know a few dozen uh, pieces with the same uh, pieces here the same die uh, before having to reprint another one so that's um, not an issue here because these parts are fairly inexpensive I mean if I had to do this uh, with a uh, tool steel, I mean this would be very very expensive to do, you know, just to have uh, it do what uh, what you see it here. So I just wanted to show this, uh, you know, to um, show that it does work and uh, just to prove the point here. Oh, by the way, I forgot to uh, I forgot to put this on the actual uh, maker pipe, and it fits really nice. This is much better the one that I did with those uh, hex uh, couplers, threaded couplers, you know, just using the uh, the flat on the hex, you know, to come in and form this. Although this one is a little flatter and more squarish, you know, this um, actually took the shape of the, the die itself. This is Mario with MIA Microfly once again. Stay tuned for more.